everyone, and welcome back to Beauticians and Musicians. And I just have to go ahead and bring on my co-host, Jen Johnson, Yay. and my friend, Rita Wortham, who also, I just am dying to tell everybody, she's the one that did the logo. She's the one. Hey. She's the one. <laughs> she took my pictures. She's very, very, very multi-talented. Yes, sure. in that one area specifically, and I love it. She does all, a bunch of my stuff, basically everything, mm -hmm. and I love her, and I'm so excited to have her on the show. Oh, thanks yeah. for having me. <laughs> yes, and she's so patient with me, too, <laughs> <laughs> which is nice because, you know, it, there's Ziggy and uh, Jason are also very patient yeah. with me. So. <laughs> it's, it, that's, you know what, when you, and I'm not kidding you, this is to me very important when you're picking the people that you want to work with. You got to pick people that you enjoy working with. Right. I mean, that's true. Honestly, yes. I mean, there's a lot of talented people out there, but there's not a lot of talented people that are nice. Like, there's a lot of people <laughs> that you could travel with, but not a lot of people you want to travel with. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of, yes, we just went on this trip. I had it was like the best trip I've had in a long time. We had time. so much fun. I had a blast. I only skied one day, but I could only handle one day. Yes. <laughs> yeah. My knee was tweaking, and I was like, I'm going to hurt myself. I'm not going to be able to cut hair next week. And, and she I, lost a pole. I lost a pole, and then I started <laughs> falling a lot. As soon as I got tired, I was telling somebody the other day, I wasn't even doing anything. I'd just fall over. It'd just be like, oh. i just fall <laughs> over, and then trying to get up, I was like, oh, 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 oh. And all, like, my upper body strength is really not that weak, but it felt very weak. Like, I could not really get well, myself up. Uh, well, the thing is, it's hard when you're in all that gear you've got on the ski boots and you're just not used to it and then you've got the skis I mean you know it's like when you yeah. fall down and you have the skis on you're just like Ugh. I literally was standing there once and I just went Bonk. I know I kept saying you know we we brought another friend with us who had never skied before and I kept saying um, why don't we just let him take his skis off I mean it's easier to get up without the skis on and you can't bend everything you need to, to get Hi, up. yeah but it was a blast we had so Woo, much fun yes. we should have put pictures up from our trip oh gosh dang it, dang it. We'll I do meant that. to actually <laughs> we'll okay. do that next time we'll yeah, do that next everyone time. will be waiting for those yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> we should have gotten some of me falling down yeah that'd be funny I think I might actually you know <laughs> But Jen had Jen's had her little technique going, and just when I was starting to get the hang of it, my knees started messing up, and and then I was just like, okay, I'm gonna have to take a break because you know, you start feeling like I'm not gonna hurt myself. No, I'm not into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm exactly. not into that. I'm not into it. No, mm -hmm. we don't have time for that. Nobody, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for being <laughs> yeah. sick, or ain't nobody got time for being injured. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so everybody, take your vitamin C and don't <laughs> ski too long when you don't know what you're doing. That's the tip of the day. The tip of the day. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's staying out of the snow period. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You might be surprised. You might like it. You look really cute. Well, that was the main thing. It's like, That's okay, I got the my most gear. Important thing. I look cute. I feel cute. Right. Until I started falling all the time and I wasn't feeling very cute. And yes. It didn't really matter at that point. I was just glad I was warm and not wet. No kidding. No <laughs> kidding. But we are, um, we have Rita Wortham on and she's going to talk to us today about personal branding photography. Yes. Yes. Amazing. It is, uh, you know, a lot of people have businesses, a lot of entrepreneurs and businesses, and they don't really represent who they are very well because, um, you know, you need to show who you are in pictures, you need to show who you are in video, and you need to pick colors that work with who you are and what your business is trying to, um, you know, portray to the outside world, mm -hmm. you know. It's always easier to say sometimes you have to show people instead of tell them you have to show right. them. Right. Well, you know, and here's the thing, because I have experience working with you and with other people, too, is not everybody can pull your personality out of you in a picture right. or in a video. Right. And that's one of the things I think that you just have this very calming, comfortable just energy about you that when when you are shooting with you you just you relax people mm -hmm. and then also mm -hmm. she lets you know that she can edit and that's very important <laughs> and don't worry about this i can fix that <laughs> right like, exactly awesome. but when you're nervous it yeah. helps to have that calm energy which i don't think i really have a calming energy uh -huh. and so i mean i guess it depends on what i'm doing right you know? right and then everybody that comes on as a guest are always nervous but then once they get here we make right. them feel at ease so it's, yeah, it's very totally important to be able to do that with what you do and you do that very well. well thank you i try and 
you know, sometimes I have people bring their favorite kind of music so that you can be relaxed as to who you are. And, hey, if you need to dance, dance. You know, <laughs> if that's what's going to bring out who you are, go for it. Music is very important. It I is. feel like it has to be on I do almost too. all the time and right. everything. Otherwise, yes. I can't even do hair without it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't work out. Like, if my headphones go dead back when, well, still, if they're not charged, right. I feel like i got to leave. Yeah, if you, Almost. If you don't, don't have that. I feel like I should. <laughs> but so when people, when I know that I, re, I work with a lot of people that, and you're the first person I refer them to for, for that, that branding package. And then I also, I refer them to you for the, the hair and the makeup, because I think something that we do, the three of us, and we've really been doing this now, we're coming up on our third year. Yeah, right. You know, one of we the, work well together. well, we the, do. one of the very first things we did together was when we did beauty brains in business. So that's an event that I do every spring and every year we have a grand prize winner. And what I love is that really both of you allow people their input because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes when you know, you need to brand, you know, the brand needs to reflect yourself, right. you know, you know, a lot of things, but then you go to certain people that are professionals and they don't really allow you to just be yourself or add in what what their thoughts are. And I think both of y'all are very complimentary in that because you do allow people to talk back and forth. Yeah, yeah. that's so important because um, you don't want anything to be rehearsed and you want people to be able to come over naturally. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to be able to let them be comfortable so that you can see that in their pictures and their images. Right. Um, I find that just the best way, you know, Christy and I will talk and, you know, go over what we're trying to, you know, deliver for them based on what they're telling us. So it's definitely important to let them have a little bit of input as to, because it's who they are. It's their brand. Right. It's not who and we are. And then you can work with them and help them to, if you, you think, well, this is not really the right. best hairstyle. Yes. You know, in my case, yeah. you know, right, right. or whatever. It, but you got to let them feel like they had their say and yes. that they, mm -hmm. what they say is important and yeah. it right. matters and that you're listening to them. And then at the same time, offer your expert advice. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. And make them feel comfortable so that you're both moving forward together. Not they're not, they're one toes in and the rest of them's out. Right. <laughs> and right. I think, I think it's important too, that people realize when you do, when you are considering branding yourself you do need a team. Yes. It's mm -hmm. not just one person. Right. And the more collaborative that you can be with your team, the more success that you have. And then to be open. I mean, good grief. These are the professionals. You know, I mean, yeah. that's one of the things I say all the time is when I'm working with a professional and they advise me and they say, you know what, Jens, consider these colors or consider this font or consider this design or consider this pose or consider this outfit or consider this different hairdo or our makeup. Um, I'm always open to that right. because you got to be, you right. know, and what's what, and I want to, I want to hear from you, Rita, on, you know, what are your thoughts when you're doing the, a, a branding shoot, whether it's, okay, this is for your website, this is for, you know, social media, mm -hmm. in your opinion, how many different, how many different outfits, how many different looks? I mean, what, what's your professional recommendation on all that? You know, I think, um, first of all, we have to be relevant, mm -hmm. and that means we need to post consistently. Um, so we don't want to post the same outfit every day, but you can get different angles, and you know you can have if there's a product that's involved, then you can have you with the product. Um, but you know, in a reg in, in a one day shoot, I would say at least four outfits. Okay, definitely, and you know, having the products in different areas, different places. Um, you working with a client or whatever that looks like mm -hmm. within your business. Right. And, you know, we'll capture everything we can to allow you to have a good amount of content. Well, and then one thing I think, and I'm loving that you're doing, is you're starting to do a lot more editorial photo shoots. Yes. So tell people. I can't wait. Yeah, tell people what that is <laughs> even. I mean, some people may know, but some people probably don't know. Well, I used to shoot a lot um, outside. Um, now I've actually secured a studio space. Yay. So that's a, yes. Yay. That's a win. <laughs> yes. yes. So, um, you know, we can have different setups that help you within your business to show exactly who you are. And um, I give you things. I, what I do editorially is 
if you came back to me two months later and said, hey, Rita, I'm doing a billboard. Right. I make sure that I have the image in the high resolution for you for that and not say, oh, my God, I don't have it anymore. So mm -hmm. I give you the high res and I give you a low res image so that you can have for social media as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and this is one of your pictures, of course, that they just had. You've got a bunch. Of, I know you probably yeah. did. You bring a bunch of pictures with you. I, I hope yeah, so. Yeah, there. there's several. So we've got um, her, her son. Her, her, well, let's just show her two sons first. Just a little background on these these kids that are amazing they're they are amazing i'm going to tell you that's that's uh, where i met rita was because she was basically a little celebrity there there you are with the <laughs> the kid the boys yes. i mean they're just they're good looking they're i mean good looking and what i say amazing, is so sweet they are the i say love their life. mama i say they are so fine <laughs> they are hot these boys are hot they are so can fine I say that? yes okay. we can they are hot they but you know when when I met Rita, um, you know, one of her sons was basically a one of the football stars in our high school, Hebron High, go Hawks, Ooh. and I know, <laughs> and um, but really, you were one of those moms that I'm telling you, you were such an involved mother, and and I think there's a lot of women out there that are the same way, where, mm -hmm. you know, we work, we're moms, we're engaged, but then when the kids leave you it's like you have a whole second life yeah and you've really stepped in to this second life of yours in a major way and i think that your story you got to share a, a little bit because i think it would be very impactful to a lot of moms and women out there what you've experienced and gone through here let's see um i was married um came to texas in 2003 uh, separated uh, so pretty much a single mom. Um, I was, God bless me with two amazing young men because they could have given me a really hard way to go, but they didn't. And um, it made things well. We, you know, we're a very tight knit three, three people family here. And, um, you know, it wasn't easy, but it was important for me to be there for them. Um, I worked in Dallas and I would <laughs> race back to uh, Frisco to grab one son to get to Hebron High School for the other son. And, you know, I just made it happen. But um, it was just important for me to always be there since I was the single mom. But um, it didn't stop me from doing anything that I needed to do. I remember the very first time we moved here um, on Friday nights. We used to just jump in the car and go get lost because, <laughs> you know, you didn't have apps on your phone to get where you needed to be. It was all map quests. And yeah. I remember, you know, mapping out one way and mapping out the, the, coming back home because <laughs> we did not know where we were going. But anyway, it's, um, you know, I took a leap of faith uh, when I left corporate America and decided that I wanted to do photography full time. And. I jumped in it, and you know what I will say to anybody is: if you have a dream, if there's something you want to do, then just go for it. Don't step back. Don't hesitate. It's not easy, um, but you can do it. And how long? How long have you been doing photography now? Um, so now it's been almost seven years uh, professionally. That, is yeah. it that? Isn't that crazy? It is. <laughs> it's you know one of the things I say is success happens in decades, yes. and it's really. You know, do something for 10 years and then open your eyes and see where you are. And mm -hmm. I know, because I know you personally, mm -hmm. where you are is you're like, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's just, but I think it's important because I was a single mom. Yeah. I mean, I know what it's like being a single mom. I know that struggle. Mm -hmm. I know the, the, the obstacles and that, you know, you're torn one way or the other, but you did it mm -hmm. just like you said, you did took a leap of faith. I know you're a very big faith based person yes. and, and you know, look, you're, you're doing amazing things and it's Rita's year. It's yeah. Rita's it year. Is, it really is it really my is. year. You know, um, 2019, I, uh, you know, you gotta have faith and, you know, Jen speaks to that all the time, you know, and, be careful what you ask for, because <laughs> when you reach out and you ask God for what you really want, uh, he, he will deliver it for you, and um, you got to put in the work, but 2019 truly is my year, and it's going to be great. It's already great. I mean, do you have a goal how many people you want to 
do branding pictures and editorial pictures for for 2019 because we're going to have you back. You know this. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, actually, my goal right now for this year is 50 people. That's awesome. That is people. so awesome. I love yes. that. And that is 100% doable. I'm telling you, we're going to get a bunch of the ladies and men. Oh, look at this great picture. Ooh. Now, see, That's this, that is a, son. this is One a of perfect. Them. This is a perfect example of an editorial picture. I mean, you could use that yeah. on your social media platforms, and you could use that in <clears throat> on your website you could use that for promotion you can use that a hundred different ways Absolutely. and that's really the different the change you know in these younger people know it so well i'm telling you yeah you know? they definitely yeah. do they they know it <laughs> they they're know how to do it fast well they're doing it on themselves but it's not professionally right. it's still i'm not dating us girl because we're not old all right no. i'm not saying that hey, we we've are learned a lot too we've about learned this a stuff. ton yeah. but that's really the look of people's social media, mm -hmm. their websites, everything is going more to that editorial look. Yeah. And if you're an entrepreneur or you have a business, you guys don't put your selfies up as your picture. Don't do it. <laughs> Absolutely don't do that. Yeah, it's like it's like tip number one. Do not use a selfie. I'm terrible at selfies because my arms are too short. I'm like a oh, T-Rex. Oh, I love that. This is gorgeous. Yes. She, I love this picture. Yeah, she's a, a really awesome young lady. And, um, you know, that image can be used um, for uh, the the coat brand that it is I can't mention who it is at mm -hmm. this point but anyway um, <laughs> it's just an awesome look you know and I just tried to capture who you are in right. your image mm. I love that I love that so on a picture like that mm -hmm. did you say hey bring that jacket bring that coat or did she just bring it no she, I asked her to bring okay. that yeah okay. just because of the location I knew we were going to be in. okay yeah I love and That's so a cute jacket. I know it's a really cute jacket <laughs> mm -hmm. so you know kind of based on what I the information I get about your business mm -hmm. I will make little suggestions they'll bring this or mm -hmm. bring that and so you, know. you have people fill some a questionnaire yes. out, which mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be doing anytime now. <laughs> Actually, I know she's probably already sent it to me, but anyway. <laughs> Right. Yeah, because, uh, you know, that way I get a better idea, a better sense of what you want. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everything's not done in studio. Some's on location within their own office or business. And sometimes we can go to a local coffee shop and, you know, because that's where they work sometimes. Right, so you want right. to be able to capture that as well. Yeah, I think that's the, I think it's important that you do have variety. And I love it. You know, you've got your studio, you've got setups in your studio, mm -hmm. you've got, you've got the outside, you've got at so many different places Absolutely. that you that you shoot and and you need to I mean that's an this is another great picture I yeah, love she is an attorney in Dallas and you know what she said to me was I don't want anyone to know that I'm an attorney mm -hmm. I just want pictures of who I am but I don't want it to look like I'm this stuffy attorney mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. We had a great time shooting her but see like to me that is an amazing picture of her personality coming out. Yeah. And because it's so natural, I'm, I'm looking around the cameras. That's yeah. what I'm doing. I'm just <laughs> like, no, because it's just, it's so natural <clears throat> and it's just, she's so calm and she's got such great energy coming yeah. from the picture. You know, just like when you call somebody on the phone, you can tell if they're smiling or if they're sitting down eating some bonbons or maybe they're having a glass of wine or whatever, <laughs> but you can tell, yeah, you, can, you can feel that energy from the pictures too. Yeah, so I sure. love it. I know you've got some more pictures in Let's it too. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, we got to show the one with the yeah. white hat. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is an awesome <laughs> picture. Um, this is a friend of mine who just, you know, decided that she wanted to get into the industry of some type of modeling. I mean, she's lean, tall, and let me tell you, she is gorgeous. gorgeous. She did yeah. it. She really did it. Uh -huh. And Hey, if there's anybody out there who's looking for a nice model, I, I got her for you. Yeah, yeah, she's she amazing. So beautiful. Yes. yes. I love that. And I've that. seen a lot of our other ones on that shoot that look are awesome. Yeah. I know. And then you've got the two young girls. The two girls. Yeah, that's for a uh, athletic brand out in New York who uh, I actually just came back from New York yes. last week, and I'll be doing quite a bit of business with them. Okay. So that's a a win one right here. That's All awesome. right. So you've got to tell us a little bit about your trip, and because you went to a very 
I, I, I want to call it prestigious event <laughs> because it, you had an amazing keynote speaker there. So tell everybody about that because I think there were some big time lessons that you learned that we could all that we could all benefit from. Yeah, I was in uh, New York last week. Like I said, I had this meeting with this athletic company, and um, but I was there for uh, Oprah's um, Soul Food Conversation, and it was very awesome. The speakers that she had there, um, Michael G. Bo Michael B. Jordan was one. Um, Melinda Gates, um, Bradley Cooper. Uh, Geez, I can't even think who else was there, but it was really good. And I met some awesome people there. Um, I'm going to shout out to uh, Cheryl Axon Jackson because mm -hmm. I finally got to introduce myself to her. We go to the same church, and oh, lo and behold, we meet in New York, and <laughs> there we go. But you know, it, well, Cheryl Jackson owns the food pantry, Minnie's food, Minnie's pantry. food pantry here yes. in Dallas, yes. and she has done some incredible things in our community, as well as uh, I'm sure getting really national and international recognition yes. and that's really one of the reasons how her and oprah connected and yes. and you know that's the thing is she's one, a giver she, well one person can make a huge difference absolutely one person can make a huge difference she's made a, a huge difference and i know yeah. um gosh whatever we can do to help you know, all of us, you know, whatever it is, yeah. we've got to get connected to these people, to these organizations. We've all been given uh, a giving heart, whether we use it or not. Right. <laughs> right. But once you start using it, you're going to want to use it more. That's just how it goes. Absolutely. Absolutely. What was one of your favorite messages of the whole event? Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to go back to Michael B. Jordan um, and only because of a lot of what he said reminded me of my relationship with my boys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people were like, oh, my God, he's 32 and still living at home with mom. But, hey, he loves his mom, and my boys love me. And I just, you know, he was so, you know, genuine in, you know, what he was talking about. Oprah asked him who he was taking to the awards last night, and he was like, hey. Hey, mom, you want to go? And, yes. you know, <laughs> so that's who he took. But, you know, it was very impactful, you know, to listen to um, Melinda Gates talk about, you know, just how much her and her husband do for this world. It, mm -hmm. It's a lot, you guys. And, you know, if we can all just do a little something, it'll make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be much, but just a little something, even if you make someone smile a day. Right. I totally agree. It makes a difference. But I think that's the, the neat thing about I, what you do with the branding, what you do, Christy, <clears throat> along that path, because we live in the world now where we are our own, own brand. brand. Yeah. I mean, my daughter right now is at UTD. She is in the honors program there at the business school. Mm -hmm. And they just had to make a website that Rita <laughs> helped her with, you know, just <laughs> advising on um, because no longer it, you're not, it's going to, people are going to get away from individual resumes to individual websites. So when you're out in the world and, and you meet somebody, it's, Here's my website. Here's my card with my website. Doesn't matter where you work. Doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur or or really what the industry is going to be in. That is your that's mm -hmm. your place. So what both of you do with branding is going to just become bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, and you know, hey, I don't care what kind of job you're you're looking for. Everyone's checking your Facebook. They're checking yeah, your Instagram. Uh -huh. They're checking who you are. So just kind of make sure that's nice and cleaned up. Yes, yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> I know. I tell my nieces that all the time. Right. I know. What other branding tips do you have for people out there? Um, you know, it's. Uh, I think it's important to continue to have different looks. You know, don't keep the same stale look mm -hmm. all the time. You know, mm -hmm. there's 12 months in a year and. You really need to be doing some something, you know, every quarter. Right. When I, you say change the look, just change your profile picture change. and what else? Well, one thing about profile pictures, whatever your platform is that you use, the picture needs to be sa be the same throughout. So mm -hmm. if someone is looking for Christy, they see the picture on Instagram, well, it's the same picture on 
LinkedIn, it's the same picture on Facebook so that they can automatically recognize who okay, you are. I'm going to fix that, Rita. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got the same picture, but I can't wait to do some editorial photos with Rita. Either. I mean, yes. I'm, and when I we do, up. we need to put them on the show so people yeah. can see all mm -hmm. the different pictures because it's so important. You, you got to have it done. It is important. Yes. And, and I'm just starting to figure out, you know, how this all works together, but you know, we're, we're in a work in progress. I guess we, we all are. are. We all are. We all are. We all are. Yeah. We all are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And just have fun along the way. Yeah. You know, that's the we're thing. We're going to have fun. We're sure. going to have fun for sure. <laughs> no yes. matter what. Awesome. So important. Yes. And so as far as how does someone go about picking colors for themselves? They might like know how their favorite colors. I mean, I know you're always asking me, which favorite color? Yeah. Well, Christy's favorite I've color is blue. I figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs> Her favorite color is blue. I think last year, I didn't know. When I first I met love Lynn, blue. See, with, I love uh, Melissa pink. here on air. We were like, what's your favorite color? I said, well, I don't know. I guess pink. I, don't, I mean, I was just like. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I have a whole theory on, on you know, color. it's, well, not even color, but knowing what you want. Right. You know, first of all, when you first start, you sometimes don't you, you don't want. know what you want. Yeah. And that's okay. I didn't know I wanted to do a show. That, okay. It's okay. I think that, <laughs> I think some people think they have to know exactly what they no. want before they start. No, because no, you, you, success happens in action. So it's when you're in action, you figure this stuff out. Yeah. But what my whole theory is, because I am a faith-based person, my whole theory is God looks down and says, does Rita know what she wants yet? Okay. Come back to her. Does Christy know what she wants yet? <laughs> come back to her. Does Jen know? Okay, come on. And he just kind of goes, round robin and then when we really know he's like everybody go down and help them they know exactly what they want now but you you have to figure it out yeah, and do. it's just a process but the we don't ever fail we're learning right it's we're okay. just learning along the way it's okay mm -hmm. not to know in the beginning because uh -huh. you will figure it out you will the the thing is just start it just start i'm do definitely it. don't overanalyze i just jump in with that's what i love head, about your head first or something that's what i love about christy <laughs> and, and she <laughs> says don't worry about getting your hair messed up i'll fix it yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> so exactly. i just jump in we just we just go <laughs> But that's really the attitude because at the end of the day, and I know I know all of our hearts are the same way, because at the end of the day, we were all sent here to bless the world. Absolutely. And we can't bless the world if we are in action. We can't bless the world financially if we don't have financial abundance. And each and every one of us deserve that mm -hmm. and we're capable of it. So why not do it? That's what I say. Do it. Do mm -hmm. it. So we're busy doing a lot of things yeah, we are. to make that happen. That's for sure. Sometimes I'm yeah, like, we are. Oh, I forgot to do that. Uh -huh. But it's getting better. It's okay. I'm getting better at it. We're all getting You're getting better, getting better at it. Yes, I mean, Rita, are. since I've known you, you've grown so much. And you too, even right. though you're just like amazing already. But I mean, you've grown. It's the time. mastermind though, it honestly, yeah. honestly. So one of the things that we all did together almost three years ago, it'll be mm -hmm. three years ago in May. Mm -hmm. Wow is we got involved in a mastermind and it's a mastermind that I facilitate and it was really inspired. I mean, it was inspired. I spent a lot of time thinking and praying about, you know, what, what big substantial impact can I make? And it's use my gifts and talents that I've been given to help develop other people. But of course, you know, that saying that when the student's ready, the teacher appears right. and once you really get into the routine of growing, you will never stop. You'll just keep growing and growing and growing. And that's what we've done. And it's just been a complete blast. Yes. And having the support of other people who really care about you your journey. You have to. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. It's huge. You have to. I mean, you always have, you know, a friend, but someone who's really invested. Oh, yes. And, you know, some friends are doing their thing and you're not seeing each other that much. Yeah. But with a group like this where you have common goal, not Facilitated. common goals, but like-minded right where exactly you support each yeah. other and you really do truly care about the other person yeah because everybody mm -hmm. listen we it's yeah. just like on my show we have a book of the month but i think napoleon hill's think and grow rich is going to become my book of the year yeah <laughs> mine too it's definitely my book of the year it's book of the year but I... you know really you have to have a group of people that are like-minded that are invested in you because you're going to go up and down i mean yeah. come on now there's going to be years when that 
that group is going to just get you from point A to point B, and then you're going to be ready to skyrocket, which is where a lot of people are. And the exciting thing, I don't know if I was telling you this or if I was telling another one of our mastermind members, but the exciting thing is, is in two more years, we start our book. So we're going to do a compilation book to say, okay, in five years, the success of people from the beginning to the end, it's going to be super exciting. Wow. That will be so cool. I oh, know. Well, Absolutely. Uh -huh. And this is part of the journey. Yes, yes it, it is. is. I better and, start journaling. Yeah. We want to bring as many of you along the way with us. That's one thing I'm, I'm going to improve on this year is the journaling part. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I do the work and, you know, all of that, but the every day the journaling. Mm -hmm. I've got some beautiful journals, but they're empty. <laughs> I always like them. I want to buy them. You know? But you know what I think is really cool about even this platform as a podcast? It's like a journal That's because true. every week you've got, you see your your progress. In fact, I mean, gosh, if you go back to the very first episode oh, of the we first, just did. Ziggy can tell you, <laughs> Ziggy can tell you from the first episode to where you are right now, yeah. huge improvement. Yeah. It's just yeah, I've seen a couple of those. It's like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. It's like, I. <laughs> I, 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 I. <laughs> I know. It's but amazing. But it's awesome because, you know, it's fun. It's just like, oh, I am better. Yeah, exactly. Amazing. So but. much fun. I know. Mm -hmm. And So I wish Bradley Cooper was here to do this song with me. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look him up on my phone while you're singing. See if he's available. Okay. I wish no. I would have known before. We could have had Rita ask him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And so A Star is Born is, the song, is what this song is from, Shallow. And it's an amazing song. I'm sure everyone watched the Grammys and Lady Gaga did it last night. And She's phenomenal, and I still haven't seen this movie, but I'm going to. It's phenomenal. It's really good. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something else you're searching for? I'm falling In all the good times I find myself longing For a change in all the bad times I fear myself Tell me something boy Aren't you tired trying to fill that void Or do you need more Ain't it hard keeping it so hardcore? I'm falling In all the good times I find myself longing for change In all the bad times I fear myself I'm off the deep end, watch as I dive in surface where they can't hurt us I'm shallow now in the shallow shallow in the shallow 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 in 
Hey. Woo! Awesome. I love it. I love it. Thank you. That's a gorgeous song. I love it so much. And I just want to thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Real. It's been, you know, a long time coming. You needed to be on the show for sure. And Thanks. we're going to have her back. I'm going to be getting some new photos. Jen's is going to be getting some new photos and a lot of other people, people we know. So we'll be revealing those here and there on the show and show you how amazing Rita is. Truly talented Thank you. individual. Thank you. And love her. Jen's, I love I love to have a Jen's here because you know last week she wasn't here, which <laughs> reminded me of the first time you couldn't make it. Oh, yeah, and, and you did the you had jury duty, and my niece said, "Just okay, I know this is weird, but just draw a <laughs> fake picture on this cardboard and just refer to it like, what do you think about that, Jen's?" And so I did, and I quit freaking out as bad, and I uh -huh. made it through it. And then the next time I had to do it by myself, I didn't die. Uh -huh. And and I did okay last week, too. So, yes. But it's so much more fun to me. It's always more fun. That's right. And I, she adds so much, so much wisdom with what she does as a transformational leader and, and into my life. And both of you guys, these are two I of know. my besties right here. Right so here. It's so much fun working with and doing life with the people that you love. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you all for tuning in to Beauticians and Musicians. And I will be back next week. We will be back next week at on Monday at 2 o'clock.